Yes, it took quite a lot of UI code to get this project going, but I hope it's shown you you can make some great games using just the UI kit tools you already know. Building UIs programmatically is obviously much less visual than using storyboards. But the flip side is everything's under your control. There are no connections happening behind the scenes. Of course, at the same time as making another game, you've made several steps forward in your iOS development journey, this time learning about add target, enumerated, joined, replacing occurrences, and more. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, use the techniques you learned in Project 2 to draw a thin gray line around the buttons view to make it stand out from the rest of the UI. Second, if the user enters an incorrect guess, show an alert telling them they're wrong. You'll need to extend the submit tap method so that if first and next are failed to find the guess, you show the alert. And third, Try making the game also deduct points if the player makes an incorrect guess. This might sound easy, but think about how you can move to the next level. We can't use simple division remainder on the player's score anymore because they might have lost some points along the way. So either check for all the buttons being hidden, or have a second integer that counts up saying number of items matched. They're separate from the score. 